Guys, how you doing? Dave here. Sorry, I just couldn't help but use that sound effect. Uh, I kind of downloaded this cool sound effect package. Anyway, today's video, I want to talk about differ differentiating my two YouTube channels. I have a bigger channel, Cook and Share, as many of you might know, and then I have Dave's Network. And I want to do some different stuff on both of them. And I released a poll the other day asking my, um, my viewers and my subscribers what they would like to see. And the majority of them would like to see other stuff um, that I'm interested in being on Dave's network and cooking related stuff on Cook and Share, which I, which I think is sensible. I mean, people come to Cook and Share for a specific event or specific topics, and that's cooking. And we can do other stuff here. So what I want to talk about today is the type of stuff we're going to be doing on, um, on Dave's network. Uh, first and foremost, topics that I'm interested in, then I'd like some feedback in the description section below uh, about topics you're interested in. And something I like to do, and I know the market is filled, and I know the YouTube platform and other platforms are filled with this topic, um, and that's starting your own YouTube channel. But I've been at this about 11 years, and, you know, I really think I have something to offer. Um, so... So let's talk about starting your own YouTube channel. And I know the the other channels and the other creators that, that I've watched, what they focus primarily on is YouTube is a platform of making money. And it is. And it doesn't always work for some people because you don't come on YouTube and, you know, instantly make a living at it or instantly make anything at it. You really have to work on it. And because of the pandemic, the market has become really flooded. More and more people want to work at home. So more and more people are starting YouTube channel channels and online stuff. So if you're going into it with that purpose, that's great. But don't expect for it to happen overnight because YouTube has a bunch of different guidelines that we can talk about um, in a later video. But I can see it being twofold, the purpose of you or anybody being on YouTube, even myself. Number one is, like we just mentioned, is going on, creating your own niche, something you're passionate about, and taking it step by step and eventually making some, some money out of it and some pretty good bucks for that matter. But there's another aspect to the platform that nobody really addresses, and that's memories. Um, I've just recently joined Ancestry, and I think it's I think it's a great website, and you can find out a lot about it. And like a lot of other people, I'm interested in finding out about my past, but it is so hard to dig up information. Not so much on your mom and your dad and your uncles and your aunts, but on your great, great, you know, grandfathers, grandparents, uncles, aunts, cousins, whatever it might be. Especially if you're like me and um, your ancestors came over from England in my case, but Scotland in other cases, or, you know, if you just recently immigrated to Canada, where your ancestors came from, which might be harder to look up or harder to find. So I just wish, you know, <laughs> and it would have been impossible because technology didn't exist back then. But they had a platform like YouTube where they could actually create those memories. I know my aunt, she used to have this old camera. Well, it's not that old, but I mean, you know, it was the old movie camera where you had frame by frame and it clicked away and stuff like that. And she was really high tech back then, but she didn't take enough movies. And pictures back then were so hard to round up. And, you know, if we could just have had something like YouTube back then to share our journey on. I mean, let's face it, we're not going to, we're not going to be around forever. And if our children and our children's children could just sit back and watch videos of us, I'm not trying to be morbid, but I'm just trying to, you know, 
to bring back memories and also to bring back their ancestries and what life was like in this period of time. Um, I can only imagine what life was like in the 1800s and the 1700s. And if this planet's still around in, you know, uh, in well into the 2000s, well, you know, they, they can sit back and think, well, I wonder what, what life was back in 2021 or the year 2000 or the year 1990. My goodness, we've seen the change of a millennium. I mean, that's phenomenal. So, you know, even if we could share things like cousin uh, Linda's wedding, um, the graduation of your children, um, Uncle Fred's, as morbid as it might sound, Uncle Fred's funeral, if they were all on a platform like YouTube and we could just sit back or your children could sit back and watch them video by video. To me, that's another important aspect of the platform and something you could be doing, not even worrying about money, just worrying about your journey, recording your journey through life and the memories. And that's something I like to talk about, both the, the money-making aspect and the platform for sharing memories in your journey through life aspect, whichever you decide on. But, you know, I'd like to be a part of that and show you how to do it. So that's something we could very well talk about on Dave's network, spend a few videos on that. It's not an easy process and, and YouTube, the platform itself is becoming more and more complicated all the time, always introducing algorithms and new tools and whatnot. At any rate, I'm not gonna take up a whole bunch of your time on that. We're just gonna leave it at that. But if that's something you're interested in and just remember the twofold part I talked about, um, go ahead and leave a comment in the description section below. Um, secondly, <laughs> something I'd like to produce a few videos on. I'm a bit of a techie guy, and I've recently created my, my own smart home here. So I, I do have the Google Nest, and I have the Google products. So I can just say, you know, I, I'm not going to say the actual command because it'll bring the whole system to life. But uh, Google... Uh, you know, turn off the office lights, turn off the living room lights, turn on the bathroom lights, play this song, play that song, uh, a whole bunch of commands, lock the doors, look up a recipe on, um, you know, who was the prime minister of Canada in, in 1932. And it all comes, it all comes through and it works beautifully. And I'm not saying you have to do it on Google. You know, you could do it on Alexa. Um, Amazon Alexa. Uh, there are different ways you can do it. I mean, I even control my TV with it. Some people might get to the point where they get all worried and paranoid that, you know, Google is listening to us or, or Amazon is listening to us and recording our information. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I really don't care. I don't have anything to hide. I mean, they can record all they want. If it makes life easier for me, so be it. But, you know, some people are a little leery about that, whatever it might be. You know, some people have come to the point where they've got a smart home and people come into their home and because the devices, the nests and whatnot are sitting there, they say, um, be aware you are being, could be, could be. They don't say you are, but you could be <laughs> being recorded. I think that's a tad on the ridiculous side. You know, why not sign a slip when you walk in the door or a waiver or something like that? I mean, it just makes life easier. It's kind of cool to play with. So if you want, we could do a few videos on that and just show you how to set that up and how I set mine up or at least how mine works. Not saying you have to do it, but you know, for about 300 bucks, you can set up this beautiful smart home. And I mean, you, you can get to the point where it'll turn on your tap and know how many liters it takes to fill up the dog bowl and what temperature you like your bath and it'll lock your doors and say, Google, show me the outside camera and it'll show you the outside camera. There tons of stuff you can do on it. Uh, maybe a bit, maybe a bit lazy, but it, but it's fun to play with. So that's another topic we could do. Uh, number three. I hope I'm holding up three fingers there. Is that three? Yeah, that's three. 
Uh, we could talk about gardening. I really like gardening and I like to merge that with outdoor living. There's nothing nicer on a beautiful summer's day or a beautiful spring day or autumn day for that matter, sitting outside in a comfortable chair, you know, um, listening to music or what it might be, having a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a glass of wine, you know, wh whatever you like to do. Just watching the birds and stuff like that, looking at the flowers that you've planted and enjoying your garden. I'm going to start my gardening as soon as the weather gets warmer. And so I just like, you know, to watch things starting from little wee tiny seeds and buds and growing into beautiful flowers and then arranging them and color coordinating them and all that jazz. That's something else we could do. We could talk about vegetables. Nothing greater than eating your own vegetables out of your own vegetable garden. Um, I'm kind of into that type of living too. Um, if I could, <laughs> I'd move up to Alaska and have my own frontier up there, my own homestead and, and grow my own chickens and have my own eggs and my own garden and whatnot and build my own house. But Getting a little old for that. Um, yeah, I got a birthday coming up tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you very much. And so, you know, nobody gets any younger. That's for sure. Since we only get older, we never get younger. Maybe Google can work on that too. Well, let's flip over to Cook and Share for a second. We've talked about, you, you've got a general idea of what we want to do on Dave's Network. Um, cook and Share. I want to do some, people have asked for a review of different types of stoves, you know, the electric stove, the, the, the glass top stove, the, the, the gas stove, do a review of all those. And I can give you my preference. It's, you can disagree with it and, and that's totally fine. But, you know, I could do some research, give you the pros and cons. Um, Actually, I've done the research because I've used all three stoves and know which one I like best. And I'll leave that for another video. Um, knives. We could talk about knives. And we talked about all this in Stove Talk. And uh, I want to start Stove Talk again, but I'm not sure how to do it. And I think the platform that I pulled most of my viewers on is they want to see maybe a cooking video on a Monday and a cooking video on a Saturday, a Friday or Saturday. And in between, maybe we get a review in of um, knives, sharpening knives, knives, et cetera, et cetera. I don't want to get to the point, guys, where it's a sales pitch where I'm saying, this is a beautiful knife. It's only $159.95 and I want to sell it to you. I'm, I'm not like that. And that's, that's not what I'm about. Um, you know, you can get a beautiful cut out of a $4 knife from the dollar store. But, you know, there's something about a better knife, and we can talk about that in in a later version on Cook and Share. Food processors, I do have a new food, food processor that a company gave me, and I've tried it out. I mean, I'm not big on the unboxings. I mean, who wants to watch you take a food processor out of a box? I'm sure you can unbox it yourself. But the pros and cons of the food processor, I've used it for about a month. I really like it. And if I didn't like it, I wouldn't do the video. That's, you know, that's just the way I fly. If I'm going to endorse something, I've got to like it. So we have a video coming out on that. Um, we could talk about kitchen tools. There, <laughs> I've got this whole drawer full of kitchen tools that I never use. It's like a, a junk drawer. And then I go searching through it, trying to find something. And I decided one day, you know what? I'm tired of this. So I'm just gonna organize my kitchen tools and I'm just gonna toss or throw in a box and put in the shed what I don't use. And so we could talk about that, which, which fits into kitchen organization. Um, I, I used to be, before I started doing videos, serious videos and on cooking. I used to be the most disorganized person in the world. Um, I'd have stuff here, I'd have stuff there. And after I cooked a dish, the kitchen would be in a mess. You know, there'd be potato peels here and pieces of meat there, knives and forks and plates. And oh my goodness, it looked like a nuclear bomb went off. Um, I shouldn't use that word on the internet. 
but but anyway, it, it looked like something went off anyway. So I decided to become a bit more organized. And, you know, it really felt good becoming organized. And so I just, you know, I throw everything out, the potato peels and the carrots and not the carrots, the carrot peels and everything. As I go along, clean the countertops, slice things up. And at the end of it, it makes life a whole lot easier. And you feel, you know, maybe I know what I'm doing here. Uh, we can also talk about pots and pans. There are a myriad of pots and pans out there, different brands, different makes, made out of different substances. We could talk about that. I have my preferences. And, and you know, the, the market floods with advertisers saying, oh, you can, you know, beat this pan off a rock and you can take a sledgehammer to it and you can drive over it with your car you know, and you can run over it with seven bulldozers and then still look, it cooks and nothing sticks to it. Well, I'm like everybody else. I, I have, I'm a bit leery about that. So those are some of the, uh, the topics we could, we could do on cook and share. Again, let me know in the description box below. Um, and you guys said you like, having the surveys and you like having the videos i didn't want to put this on cook and share because we have a number of new people coming coming into cook and share and they're thinking what is this all about i mean this guy's all over the map i, I don't want to subscribe to this channel i came here to find out a rice recipe and now he's talking about google devices so I, I think we'll, like I said, to recap, we'll leave that kind of talk, the gardening, the, the starting your own YouTube channel, uh, even travel, which we could do, all to Dave's network. And if you want to find out more about what I'm about, I'm, you know, you're so inclined um, and my interests and stuff like that, maybe you share the same interests, maybe you don't. Um, come on over to Dave's network and we'll talk about it there, here. And the rest of the cooking, the, the cooking stuff we're going to leave exclusively to cook and share. And I think that's a good way of doing things. Again, um, if you don't think so, let me know. But judging from the polls that I've read and the polls that I released and read, I should say, that that's what likely most of you guys want to see. So again, you can let me know I'm going to re release this video. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Think the world of you guys. And keep on watching. See you next time.